Hi, my name's Rob, I'm from Body Beaver. I'm going to go through the technique of how to use a spiky ball for your upper trapezius muscle, or upper traps. The upper trapezius is situated across the top of our shoulder girdle, right through this area. The area we want to be working on with the ball is above that bony margin you can feel across the top of your shoulder blade. It's called the spine of the scapula, right through to the collarbone at the front. The upper traps extend right out to the top of the shoulder and right into the spine. So it's all through this area that we can work on with the ball. We want to avoid putting pressure over those bony spots around the edges of where the upper traps are. So the spine of the scapula across the top of the shoulder blade, the bony spot at the top of the shoulder and the collarbone at the front. So we're working anywhere between these spots in as far as the spine. And of course, we're, putting, we're avoiding putting pressure over the top of the spine. Now there's two different techniques that I'm going to show you. One that's more for getting into the back of the upper traps and one that's more for getting into the top of the upper traps. So to get into the back of the upper traps, I'll show you on this side, we're putting the ball at the back of the muscle. We're bending our knees to lean back into the wall. So our body is tilted back towards the wall. We're going to move our body to slowly roll the ball right through that area. We're only leaning as much weight against the ball as we can tolerate. Now you're feeling for any extra sore or tight spots and as you come across these spots you're sitting on each one for 20 to 40 seconds or until the pain subsides. Now the other technique for getting into the top of the upper traps we're going to use the side of a door frame or corner of a wall we're going to have the ball over the top of the upper traps we're bending down this way to lean into the wall so we can work all through the top part of the upper traps there remembering to avoid putting pressure directly over the collarbone at the front. So it'll look like this. So again, we're feeling for any extra tight or sore spots, sitting on each spot for 20 to 40 seconds or until the pain subsides. So we can do each of these techniques for anywhere up to several minutes at a time. As always, we do recommend seeing a qualified therapist before doing this sort of thing to make sure it's the right thing for you and you're not doing yourself any harm.